What's up you guys, it's Kelly with Handyman Pro here and today I'm going to show you all the stuff I carry in the truck at all times and what I have in my warehouse and what's in the store. So let's check it out. There's a couple things I always keep in the truck first because I do a lot of maintenance contracts and stuff like that. So there's certain things that you always need. So here's how my bed, truck of my bed is laid out. Here we have a broom. Always need a broom. Always carry a broom and the dustpan. Um, another thing I always carry is toolbox. Didn't use it very much, but it comes in handy. Uh, always need a skill saw. I always carry a second one just in case, an electric one and a power cord one. I always, I usually carry two of everything because you never know when something breaks or you know battery goes dead. You need to have a backup. So there you go. Also, always carry a grinder. Never gonna, never know when you're gonna need a grinder. Always need that. Always need some trash, trash bags. So always carry some trash bags. Always carry a can of white paint too, because I do a lot of ceiling repairs at Patrick, so it just matches the same white. I always carry sandpaper. Always carry a little box of sheetrock that I cut out to install at the foster homes because kids put a lot of holes in the wall. I actually got a reload, only got two left, but I got some more in the warehouse, which I'll show you in a bit. So I always carry blocks of sheet wood, uh, sheetrock. I always carry two ladders. Always carry a four foot ladder. And I think that's a six foot ladder at all times. Um, <clears throat> never know when you're gonna need a small one. Never gonna know when you need a big one. Always have two power drills at all times with the batteries and chargers here. Um, here's my sheetrock kit. So I got all my spatulas to do the compound, different sizes. This is the texture bag I use for my texture gun and sheetrock sandpaper, sand blocks. And I always keep a tube of coffee. So, I always need a tube of coffee. And you always gotta carry some goggles. So, I just have those in there. Uh, paint, paint can. Uh, what you're doing with a brush. Also, have the pan back here for paint with the roller. Always have knee pads. Uh, brushes. Always carry an extra thermostat on me too because sometimes you gotta replace an AC thermostat. I get that quite a bit actually so I always carry an extra one. This one's brand new just so when I have to do it I can do it. Uh, my pistols so I have two air guns. Small air gun, the big uh, framing nail gun. My small compressor. I do have a bigger one too but I only bring that out when I need it. It's over here at the warehouse. I could load it up, no big deal. But I always carry my small one just in case. Um, you always need a torch. So I have two tanks just in case one runs out. I have an extra tank. Like I said, got two of everything. Got two big hammers. I uh, always carry paper for paint jobs. Uh, crowbars, I got like two, three different kinds of crowbars and levels, two different kinds of levels. I got that big one down there and I got a smaller one as well just in case another thing that is really important extension cord have it on a roller makes it easy to roll it out as far as you need to and roll it back in and I do carry an extra extension just in case that one goes bad just in case always need rope so I have rope tied to the truck so I can tie stuff up um, oh, what's in this bag? Yeah, here's another thing, guys. A bunch of my miscellaneous stuff. I always carry a box of nails, different screws. I got sheetrock screws, interior wood screws, two and a half inch. I also got one and five eighths, just in case I need more shallow ones. Staple guns, uh, plumbing, cement, uh, scraper, a bunch of other little miscellaneous stuff. Drill bits, you always need different kinds of drill bits. And, uh, I do carry a big broom too. Here's the brush. I also carry a saw and a, uh, I forgot what you call it. It's a, it's a big drill I use for cement actually to mix. It's a mixer, there you go. <laughs> Can't even name my own tools. So anyway guys, that's the stuff I always carry in the truck. If you notice a lot of things, I got two of each, 
two power drills, two saws, uh, two ladders, two guns, all different kinds of stuff. Oh, let me show you what I always carry on my belt. I always, I usually wear a belt. So here's my belt. Got to have a tape measure at all times. I always carry a, a, a set of gloves. These, these kinds you can't really, I do a lot of window replacements, okay? So keep you from cutting your hands and you need like the special like rubber material. It doesn't cut through it, it comes in handy. But I usually keep all my screwdrivers, uh, cutters, uh, chisels, knife, sheetrock cutter. Actually, yeah, that's fine. And there, my square, my pliers, you know, all different kinds of pliers. So yeah, that's what I keep in my bag. Always need a tape measure. Like I said that. So that's what I keep in my belt. All the tools that you might need. Um, so yeah, that's what I keep in the truck. And I also keep a bunch of material just in case when I need to use it. Some of it's actually in the box truck. I have it stored in the box truck in the front of the house. But uh, always have a bunch of plywood on me, a bunch of tile. So we have loads of uh, pallets of different kinds of tiles because we do a lot of tile jobs. So give my customers options. I already have the tile here they could choose and pick from. So I don't have to go to the store, pick it up, waste all that time, pay for it, and then bring it over there. I already have it all here. Just load it up in the truck, or the box truck, or the trailer, and take it to the job site. Uh, also have another pallet of tile down there. I already used kind of half that pallet on the 80s remodel I did a couple weeks back. Um, AC units. We actually do carry a bunch of AC units. We do a lot of AC installs too. So I have already used units here just in case a customer doesn't want to buy a new one. We can install a used one usually with a one-year warranty and people like that and it comes out to be like half the price. Furnaces, all that good stuff. Always carry a sheet of plywood, which I kind of need some more because I do a lot of holes at the uh, at the foster homes. They make a lot of holes and they break a lot of glass. So that's what I got a lot of sheetrock for. Also carry a bunch of doors because I do replace a lot of doors. And glass. There's a glass. Like I said, we do a lot of glass replacements. So yeah, that's that, guys. And let me show you what the next video is going to be based on. You see this big wide open area right here behind the carport and shed? It's long. We're going to make a warehouse extend it the whole length of this carport. Take out this tree and come out to about right here. And that's going to be the new storage place. So stay tuned. We're going to start working on it tomorrow. So we're going to make some videos of it, of us putting it together. It's going to be really big, so if I don't use all the space, I'm thinking maybe make half of it a man cave. I know, I already have a man cave inside the house, that big game room. But it's kind of cool to have one outside as well, just to have one on the property. But yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Oh, another thing. One thing I really like about this truck, tonneau cover. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but that's what we're going to say. Tonneau cover. Um, really, really comes in handy. It's waterproof. I don't have to worry about all my stuff getting wet because I like to carry this stuff on me at all times because you don't know what you're going to need at a job sometimes. So it's good just to have it already all in the truck. I don't have to come and pick it up and all that stuff and load it and unload it. I just keep it all here, put the top down, lock it, and it's all safe. Not going to get rained on, not going to get wet. A lot of people use toolboxes, which is cool and everything. I like toolboxes. And you have a wide open bed and all. But I can't put my big compressor and my ladders and stuff in there, so uh, it's just better to have a tonneau cover for me. So that's what I choose to use. So yeah, guys, that's the video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for that warehouse and hit the like and subscribe button. See ya.